hello vision and beauties welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new and stopping by for the first time if you came here to check out this boss makeup line then please continue to watch and this box is a product that was gifted to me by El Maquillage so we're gonna open this up and get into it what I received I absolutely love the box it says El Maquillage New York I love the concept of this little black box the pro palette I received a couple weeks ago it had came in a bigger box than this a way bigger box than this and the packaging was huge now for this one it wasn't that big it says El Maquillage New York on it and as with the first box I received this has this little stamp logo right here and with their logo on it, it says El Maquillage all over it. So I have two lipstick from El Maquillage. I have brow gel and I have one of the single eyeshadows. So since I have only one of the eyeshadows, we'll just go with the eyeshadow first. This is the eyeshadow. It says El Maquillage Color Boss Multi-Dimensional Eye Color Made in Italy and 2.5 grams. So I got the Color Boss and YOLO, which is 986. And the packaging for the single eyeshadow, it has a magnetic clasp. So it just closes back. I actually will continue to store it in here because I do like that. And it's so sleek and elegant. I love the way the whole packaging and presentation is. So you just lift this up, you expose the palette, you pop it out, and this is what it looks like. It's a nice silver metallic case. Feels very heavy and very expensive. It says Il Macchiato right here. And as you turn to the back, it has the color and information on the back. This is what the YOLO color looks like that is it i'm gonna swatch it right here and it's really nice it gives off like almost like a metallic look to it swatches really nicely for today's look i may use this one i'm not sure yet but i think i'm gonna go for the palette i received previously which is the pro palette by il maquillage and it says big reputation i think i'm gonna go over with something in here and maybe utilize this one as well now i'm gonna go ahead and show you the other products this is the il maquillage brow factor long wear eyebrow gel and I got it in the color truffles. So that's what the packaging looks like. Everything is pretty much like a silvery color, like a metallic type of color. Did use some of this on my brows today. And the only reason why I just went ahead and did my brows because it usually takes a very long time for me to do my brows. And I just wanted to get to the palettes. Just swatch the brow gel and that's what it looks like. I feel like this oxidizes and turns darker. So that's what that looks like. I feel like it's a cream to powder, but the only thing I felt uh, the con with this one was that once it dried and it did turn darker, it came off a little bit like an, a little ashy for my skin complexion. So maybe I should have went with the maybe the black. So that was the only con I had for the brow gel, but I do like the brow gel and I will be utilizing the brow gel in conjunction with maybe some powder or something like that. For the lipsticks, I got Infinity Matte Snob 402, which is this purple. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Ooh, I like this. Now this comes in like a frosted glass, which I do like. It feels very luxury, very hefty. Now as far as the product, it comes in this frosted glass like this, which is very unique. And I like the way it feels. It has a raised print that says El Maquillage on it in silver. And let's swatch that real quick. That's what that swatch is like. That one is a matte, it dries to a matte texture. And the next one is Infinity Matte Diva 416. So two matte, these are both matte, and I'm assuming it's gonna be a frosted glass as well. Yeah, this is pretty bright, and that's what that looks like. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and come up with a combination or a look to go with the lipstick that I have. So I just swatched this so you can see what it looks like. So I'm, I'm probably not gonna use this. I will use the palette to achieve the look. The blue I feel would throw it off because the colors are so vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna stop talking right here and just get into me creating the eye look.
is the look I came up with. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these lipsticks and then we're gonna get my pros and cons. So I'm gonna start with the purple one. It's a really nice purple color. So this is what the purple looks like and this is matte snob. Now it is almost completely dry to a matte finish. It gives me a nice coverage with the one coat. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the pink one which is matte diva. It's the shade here and here. Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream. So it's a long wig lip product. So that's just with dipping this one time. Now I will say with this Matte Diva Pink, it's more of a a sheer coat. Well, I would say with the Matte Diva Matte Lipstick, it's giving me not quite full coverage. So you do see some of my lips peeking through. So I would suggest doing two coats of this. So this is what it looks like with one coat. And I'm gonna do another coat. And you do get a decent amount of product with just one dip. So this is what the Matte Diva is looking like. And that is with two coats. Now I wanna say with the Matte Snob, one coat is perfect. I'm not getting any blotchiness with the Matte Snob, but I will say with the Matte Diva, which is like this really bright neon pink, you will have to do more than one coat. And I suggest either waiting till it's slightly dry before applying another coat because it becomes even more blotchy. It was almost like if it was removing the product instead of putting more product on. So it is a little blotchy as far as the Matte Diva. I don't know if it's because it's a high intense color. Now I do still like the Matte Diva because I love pink and it's almost as pink as my shirt. I think it's even pinker than my shirt. Now if I was going to a raid party, I'm damn sure I'm going to stand out with these lips. So on a black light, these would completely glow. So that is this lipstick. And that is the specs on these products. I do love their lipstick. I do love the packaging on all of their products. One of the products was a little blotchy and the other one wasn't. As far as the loose shadow palettes, I do like them. I do think they're pigmented. I also think the pro palette is very pigmented. And as far as the shimmers, I would say the neutral color, that one neutral color that was in the palette that I first used on my eyelid wasn't giving me that payoff that I wanted, but it still worked out fine. As you can see, the look came out perfect. And as far as the brow gel, I feel like it was a little too ashy. Maybe I should try the black one next time. So that is my specs and pros and cons on this makeup. I do like it. If you can afford it and it's within your price range, I would say go for it. I think this is more of a product where the holiday times are coming. Uh, Christmas would be a great Christmas gift, birthday gift, or like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day gift because it is pretty pricey. If you're all about the maximalist and you, then it's a great product. So I'll leave all information and the link to purchase to this down in the description box. Please don't forget to check that out. I want to say thank you to Il Maquillage for gifting me these products. As always, you guys, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and join my new Facebook group on Facebook, obviously, called Visionaries of Beauty. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please continue to share so I can keep coming to you with more content and things you would like to see. And as always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye. Mm -hmm.